Oh man. Wait, did I get banned? God. Okay. <laughs> Yo, did I get banned? Anyway. We, all right. So here we go. We have Oro <laughs> versus Drew the Dragon. Um, <clears throat> Strong Bad told me that's another uh, good player from our area. He's okay. been around for a bit. Drew the Dragon, of course, being the Sheik main. Is it the first Sheik you've seen on stream? Because, uh, I mean, I haven't been watching fully, but uh, um, the first Sheik I've seen on stream. I've seen Kells opt for Sheik. Okay. And I believe there was another player um, by the name of maybe Gary Oak who bust out Sheik too. All right, so how, how, how is this matchup generally played? All right, so in this matchup, you're not going to want to see Marth take to the skies too much as he's susceptible to Sheik's forward tilts and grabs. You're going to see a lot of down tilts, some dash dances, and if he does take to the sky, it's going to be usually spaced fares, usually the tipper ones, as Sheik can easily crouch cancel a lot of Marth's aerials if he misspaces it. Okay. Yes. All right. Now, uh, I just saw a second ago where I'm going to explain for the people that don't know, um, Sheik went to the ledge and immediately she, uh, light shielded. And the reason she did that is if she got hit by Marth recovering, it would have slid her off stage and she would immediately grab ledge. Yes. And so that that's a, a pretty much a, like a B&B way of uh, giving Marth they're recovering. Uh, anytime they hit your shield with your light shield, you just kind of get slid off and grab stage, uh, ledge before they do. Exactly. So easy stuff. Easy game, now, easy life. Now you Ooh. see, you, you saw what Drew the Dragon was doing earlier. Mm -hmm. Just like crouch canceling. Also that down tilt. Um, it helps a lot uh, with going under Marth's um, grab hitbox if timed properly. All right, managed to make it back on stage that time. Good stuff. Nice. He's trying to see if he can maybe catch Marth out of his dash dance with a dash attack, but it's not that easy. Oh, he's swinging. Oh, look at that. that. He just ducked under that grab exactly. like now. Nah. Exactly. That low profile with the down tilt. All right. Definitely helps um, take away Marth's grab game. And this is the tough thing because Marth, <laughs> a lot of Marth's opt for grabs a lot. If you take that away from a Marth, it's, you take away a big part of his game. As his grab leads to a lot of um, big things. He gets right. a lot of combo potential, stage uh, you know, stage control as well, depending on which throw he uses. All right, it looks like uh, Oro started to make a couple of adjustments. Man, now pulling into the lead at that. All right, here's her switch. See if she can get the farther recovery. Oh, managed to make it back on stage. Yep. And the up tilt to finish the stock, though. Yeah, that's the funny thing. Whenever you're fighting a, a, a person, a Sheik that transforms to Zelda, more often than not, they're going to overshoot the edge. Oh, yeah. So what you do is just make sure you take away the shield option because you know they're going to go straight for the for the stage. And then you punish accordingly. All right. So he just needed that one hit to take that uh, to get that switch back. That was took smart. About 41, yeah, it took about 41 damage for it, though. But, it, I mean, he still got it. It's pretty, pretty relatively low amount of damage to what he could have taken. Yep. Ooh. Oh, wow. He got the sweet spot and the sour. All right. Nice. And see, this is the, t this is the good thing about this matchup. Wow, the capitalization right there, though. As, as hard. Oh, man. Nice punish. Didn't, not quite the tipper, uh -huh. but still good. Yeah. So if she gets in the air, it's really easy to juggle. As you can see, Marth tacked on a lot of damage with those up airs. And he's reaching right now. All right. Both of them managed to make it back on stage, but nice crouch cancel F smash right there. Finishing that stock. Very easy. One stock left for uh, Sheik. Looks like Oro indeed was making the adjustments. He, was, he, he lost first stock, and it looks like he was like, nah, man, you ain't going to win this game, though. Ooh, oh, wow. wow. All that right. hitbox. Nice. Catching a lot of crouch cancels on him. Burned his double. Okay, there's his double jump. So, not quite. Light shield edge guard. Nice. Oh, there it is. That's there what I was go. talking about. He managed to get it that yeah. time. Very good on it. Uh, on <clears throat> Drew the Dragon's part. A lot of old school players used to use that a lot. Oh, yeah. That is I, I think the first person I saw do it was J-Man. So, yeah. Hmm. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Nice. Tex on the platform to avoid the follow-up. Yeah, really tough thing in this matchup is getting grabbed by Marth in general. A lot of... Oh, oh man. Finishes that right there. That roll-on just taking all that ledge time. Uh, in this game, even with... Even if you're not on the ledge, the uh, animation for rolling on and getting up still counts as you being on the ledge. Yep. And so... Uh, that's why he managed to still get that uh, stock off. Even though even though it looked like he should have been in the grab the ledge, that's what happened. Yeah, man. It's like he had a hologram probably left behind, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, switching up to second game two right here. Going over to Dreamland. Now, is, why, why would you think he would pick the stage? Mark? Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, Sheik. Sheik. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So good. So the reason why a Sheik would opt to choose the stage against Marth is first off, Marth doesn't really have an easier time with, you know, using his tilts or forward smash through the platforms. I mean, he can still get you, but he has to be more spot on 
with it. Oh, wow. And he went super deep. Wow. Amazing. Gotta respect that right there. That man uh, went out there and got his, made sure he finished his food and came back. Absolutely. But other than that, uh, this is a fairly big stage. I guess it makes it a bit harder for Mark to get tech chases. Okay. Oh, oh, wow, nice. hit right him with there. double. Yeah. All right. And she could definitely live long. But the main thing is just taking away the platforms from Marth. Yeah. Oh, because the platform space is Oh, my God. Went deep for it. Still worth? managed to get worth? it. Worth? Worth? That's probably worth. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was. It was. It was. <laughs> or, or, man. Drops on, well, I mean, if he wins this game, it was worth, basically. Drops on back airs, though. Got to respect that. Definitely would like to see more down tilts from Oro in this matchup. Oh, okay, so what you saw right there... Basically, he was right near the edge, and as he went for the grab, he just like released immediately and went straight for the edge. Very rare. Oh, okay. nice crouch cancel grab. You crouch and then just shield grab afterwards. R and A, allowing you to get the grab after the crouch cancel, which is really good with a character like Mark, who has an amazing grab range. All right, looks like he's he's hunting for him right now, but uh, that uh, up B has invincibility. Uh, on the before the before the uh, vanish. So I like what Oro's right. doing, just keeping him in the oh. air. Oro needs to be careful as he almost overextended himself, leading to his doom with that uh, whip. Okay, okay, this could be a stock for the good edge guard right there. Oh, that was so close. Speaking of overextensions, Doctor Drew the Dragon needs to be a little more clean with these edge guards as well. He might just lose the stock really early if he yeah, messes. Yeah, I, I think if Oro decided to roll in right there, he would have lost that stock early. Yeah. Nice. Dare? Oh, really late dare right there. Very unfortunate. Okay. Oh, we're in a good position. Still grabbing the get-up attack. Keeping him in the sky. Oh, almost lost stage control there. Whoa! Whoa! Well, that's what I'm talking about, Oro. All right. Go ahead and taking that stuff right there. Nice, clean conversion into the spike. And now he's up in the lead. All, All right. right. We got an even game right now. But uh, remember, Drew, uh, Drew the Dragon was up by full stock for most of this game. And, and Oro uh, steadily pulled it back. All right. Good stuff. I like that. He went for the fair and dashed away just in case he tried to crouch cancel as he was going for a lot of crouch cancel down tilts. So an attack and then dash away to come back in to punish. Nice get up attack to try to swing the momentum in his favor. Respecting the down smash. Good power shield. All right. Nice spacing right there from uh, more Oro when getting that uh, F, -tier, uh, F air. See? There we go again. Oh, yes. Hitting him with, uh, with an attack and then dashing away because he is being a little too liberal with the crouch cancels. Up tilt. Oh, no. All right. Smart stuff about going for the platform instead of coming down with the aerial. And now he's off stage. Is he going to make it back? Ooh, wow. low recovery. Smart stuff. This could be tough. No DI. None. No but, DI. Oh, okay, watch this. The four switch. Over, over. Yeah. See? See? Got the four switch. And I... I, I always. You never... The, wow, this guy. You this guy. <laughs> don't, don't, ever, don't ever give Zelda the edge. Oh, no. That's it. Ever. Oh, still living. All right, well, Finally, good back. Yeah, yeah, smart. Smart decision. You know what? Drew could still make a comeback because all he needs is one grab. Oh. Or that. Oh. Okay. oh, very close. Too much damage. Oh, my God. This game is legitimately oh. like even. Down to the wide. Oh, he's oh, so close. Oh, man. He's hungry. He right. is. Got the backer. Got him off stage right get now. get his legs on the ground. Wow. Okay. He needs a grab. And he can't opt to go in the sky either. Up throw. It won't kill. No, not on not this here. stage. Not here. He needs, he needs to not get hit. Isaiah, he's watching. Oh, all right, nice movement over here from Oro, avoiding that down tilt. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. The dragon. Oh, See? and he got it. Still, oh, so wow. still living? Wow, the, the drift. The Sandman came out and just pulled him out of there. He was I like, need that. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Just, Sandman just came through like, let's see. Wow, that, that was a close game. It, it, it was a close game that didn't even look like, if you're looking at percentage-wise, it definitely didn't look close. But when you think about it, 179 and 120, yeah, that's still close. Yeah, that's man. still close. Next hit's pretty much going to win. So, so yeah, get that.